This is a 1965 Dodge Flyer 500 two-door hardtop. It's a gold in color, uh, one of several golds offered that year. Gold was very popular. Big V8 with uh, all the usual power accessories, and this one has uh, factory air conditioning. There's the insulation pad in the hood. And I don't know why the headlights, interior headlights, are changed over to yellow. There's the uh, narrow white walls and full wheel covers. I always like that roof line, particularly the C pillars back there, give you the impression it might even be a convertible, but obviously it's not. Nice interior from what we can see. Automatic console. And the instrument cluster is what we see. Uh, how the Astro Dome uh, cluster of the big Chryslers uh, changed over the years. This isn't uh, nearly as uh, extravagant as that one was. It's still nice, no, none the same. Nice trunk. Those were the days when you didn't have to worry about where you were going to put your groceries. Plenty of room in the trunk. The nice feature about trunks is that they were fairly secure. You couldn't see what was in them. Notice the curb feelers. That was a common accessory back in the day, particularly when there were lots of white wall tires. They would uh, sing out when you got close to the curb so you wouldn't mar the white wall. And nobody loved scri scrubbing white walls that were marred by the uh, curb. It's a nice car.